the Karaites, as you mentioned, were very interested in the Aleppo Codex. And if I remember correctly from my reading, that the Codex was initially housed in a Karaite synagogue. Perhaps I think it was in Cairo, if I'm not mistaken. So why were they that interested in the Aleppo Codex if the Aleppo Codex represented the oral tradition on the written law? Good question. So the yes, the cantillation and the vowelization uh, represented the uh, the oral law. That is true. But the text, which was so carefully written, so beautifully written, and so carefully preserved with every variation and so on and so forth, that was of great interest to the Karaites. They are interested in the text of the Torah. They consider it to be holy. Um, the only thing that is holy is the text of the of the Torah. Um, uh, in addition to which, now they do make deductions from the text. They used a method called kias, um, which is Arabic, roughly translates into Hebrew as hekesh, meaning logical comparisons, etc. Which means, if you are using, they did use deduct deductive logic. They did use um, their minds and svara. So that means it was important for them to have an accurate text, um, uh, especially since that's all they had was the text. So. This was important to them. And actually, yes, a Karite, wealthy Karite family did buy um, the uh, the Aleppo Codex and brought it to Jerusalem initially, uh, which is a part of its history. It moved from uh, from uh, Tiberias to Jerusalem and actually it was in the possession of the Karites. But type of interestingly, these Karites did allow rabbinic rabbinite scholars, meaning us, uh, people who are, who are believed in the oral Torah, um, to look at it and to uh, investigate it because so it was really interesting because the Aleppo Codex is therefore a, a type of a unique book in the sense that it is uh, of great value to two completely opposing camps, but for similar reasons. So the, the Rabbinites were interested in this because of the preservation of the, of the oral traditions of the written law, but also because we, hold the text to be holy, as you know, right? Uh, anyone who's a Balkora and makes a mistake gets shouted at by 50 people in public in the, in the shul because what? he said, ah, instead of, ooh, that's right. It, one letter's missing, that's it. So it's of great interest to us, but we are also interested in it in the sense of the oral uh, part of it, um, etc. And the Karaites also interested because of the sanctity of the text and the accuracy um, on the, of the preservation job that we've done here. 